Hey guys welcome back to another episode, in this video we will be going through our 50 period moving average trading strategy in depth, and how we use these strategies in combination with price action. As usual, we'll have plenty of practical examples. The idea is to fully understand this wonderful trading strategy, and to make the most out of it. If you want more videos more often please smash the like button, subscribe, and turn on the notifications bell, and share this video across your WhatsApp, Facebook accounts, or Twitter to show your support. A very important point before we start. Everything we discuss in this video can be used for currency trading, stock trading, and crypto, because price action stays relatively consistent across different assets, so we're going to go very in-depth in this video. Market Profile and 50 Period EMA Trading System With this system, you will learn everything you need about the combination of 50 Period EMA and Market Profile. You, as a trader, should never stop learning and exploring new things. If you are interested in how to use Market Profile as a confluence tool with price action and different order flow patterns, go and check out the download link on the description. In this video, I've included a template with the system that you can simply upload to your chart, and it will automatically plot all these indicators perfectly on your charts, so there's nothing for you to worry about. Get the download link on the description. Fifty Period Exponential Moving Average Trading Strategy As a technical trader we have all heard about keeping a trading system simple and effective, and it is not a surprise to see most of the successful traders often glaring at clean charts with price action on the forefront, rather than fancy colorful indicators. I am not a stark opponent of indicators, but do seem to cringe when I see multi-colors on the chart that overshadow good old price action. You should keep indicators to a minimum and only use them where they make sense. In this video, I want to lay out a simple trading strategy based on literally just a single moving average, and some basic knowledge of how price action works. You are free to adopt it of course, but the real idea is to set an example for how simple trading really has to be. The Moving Average Strategy Setup Starting with a clean chart with nothing but candlesticks, lay out the 50 exponential moving average, or EMA. Believe it or not, we are ready to go. Things get interesting for us when price returns back to the 50 EMA after having spent some time away from it. If you've followed moving averages closely in the past, you would likely understand that I am basically hinting at trending price action. When price runs sideways, moving averages tend to close in and will get entangled with the ongoing live action also getting hit quite frequently by price. For moving average based systems, that can be account killing. As a simple filter to this problem, you should only be interested when price touches the 50 EMA after relatively spending some time away from it as when it shoots off into a decent trend. Let's look at some of the points on the same chart that we might be interested in. Notice how each of the two touches of the 50 EMA result in a bounce and that they occur as a follow-up to a strong move prior. It is not uncommon for price to bounce harder from the 50 EMA the more time that it spends away from it. The filter. When not to trade. We have already talked about an important filter that can help you quickly eliminate the weaker setups from the stronger ones. Trading only in a trending market where price does not hit the 50 EMA in quick succession. Let's also talk about another extremely crucial filter, horizontal support and resistance levels. I am excited every time I see price pulling back to the 50 EMA following a strong move, but my fingers will not roll over the order button until I find the point where price touches the 50 EMA is lying in confluence with a horizontal former support and resistance level. I have found this to be an amazing filter. Sure I miss a few trains, but the ones I take, I sure as hell enjoy the rides, mostly. The Entry Trigger Now that we know the dynamics of the system itself, let's look at the two ways that I believe you can trade this method, ranging from a conservative approach to an aggressive one. The Aggressive Approach This approach allows you to execute an order upon the touch of the 50 EMA. The stop loss will need to be placed arbitrarily a few pips above or below your entry, as the case may be. Notice that such a trigger would have worked phenomenally. Price hits the 50 EMA and bounces hard. Here are another examples.
the conservative approach. For those who like their peace and relaxed lives, there is the alternate approach, where you can wait for a definite price action signal at the bounce of the 50 EMA in the form of a candlestick pattern like a pin bar or an engulfing bar pattern. In this example, the chart shows a nice pin bar off the 50 EMA and a horizontal support and resistance level. You can now take your trade as you conventionally would if you were trading the pin bar. That is, taking an entry at the break of the pin bar with the stop loss objectively, placed at the break of the other end of the bar. Personally, I prefer to wait for a price action confirmation because I have been an avid fan of candlestick patterns my entire trading career. Although very occasionally I will also take touch trades when I see a mountain load of dead obvious confluence of support and resistance areas lining up at the touch point. Here are other examples of the conservative trading with 50 parrot EMA. So, if you can learn to combine the two, 50 EMA and support or resistance area, you have a mighty effective trading system. As always, if you learned something new, or if you want more videos more often, make sure you subscribe, click the notification bell, and share this video across your WhatsApp, Facebook accounts, or Twitter to show your support. See you next time.